Our last technique that we're going to use uh, for transformations is called dilation, and that's where you change the size of a shape when you create a new image. So we're going to start at number five because I think uh, looking at it graphically helps us better understand the concept. So on number five it says the dotted triangle is the image of the solid triangle. What is the scale factor? So just to be clear, the larger one is the original. So let's just label that original. And then the smaller one, the dotted one, is the image or the new one. And what we're asked is what is the scale factor? For all of these problems, we're going to assume that we are uh, dilating relative to the origin. So if you look at where the origin is uh, on the graph, we want to look at each of the points and see what happened to them. So we look at the point right here, and then we look at what seems to be the matching point right up here. And if we count our dots, we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, four so we're back negative four and then we are up one two three four five six positive six so negative four positive six and then if we go all the way back to this point here we can see that it goes uh, as far left and as far up as the points I just marked one two three four five six seven eight so we're back eight and then we are up two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12. Now comparing what our x coordinates are in both of these you can see that we went from negative 4 or negative 8 in the original to a negative 4 in the new image. We also see that we went from a 12 to a 6. So it appears based on that that our scale factor is 1 half. If this is where we started and this is the image we had to multiply these numbers times one-half to get down to here. So scale factor appears to be one-half. Now you always want to confirm that with our other points. So if we look at this point here, uh, we have to go on our original one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over. Uh, in our image for the corresponding point we only go four over. So half of that. Uh, we end up going one, two, three, four up to get this point, we only go one, two up to get that point. And then our last points here and here are going to follow those same rules. The image, uh, you take the x and the y, you cut them both in half, and that will allow you to get the image. So that's how you get your scale factor. So let's go back up to uh, number one. It says find the image of the point three, two for a dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor of one half. Same scale factor as we had in number five what you would do is multiply each of these coordinates times one half. And when you do that you get the coordinate three halves or 1.5 and negative one. One half times negative two is going to be negative one. So that's going to be the image or the new point. Just scanning over the problems and what you're going to be looking at uh, Number two is doing this process in reverse. So this is the image. What was your original location when you had a scale factor of three? Number three, transformation of this triangle after a dilation is these sets of points. So just like number five, except uh, we're not given a graph, we're just given the points. So we have to figure out what the scale factor is. Number four, says where the center of dilation is the origin, so we're centering around zero, zero, like we will in most of these problems. The image of the original, so this is the original, is this right here. So this over here is the A prime is the image. What are the coordinates of B prime? So you need to figure out what was your scale factor that you used to get from A to A prime, and then you need to use that same scale factor to get from B to an unknown set of uh, coordinates, uh, which is going to be your B prime. So you need to figure out your rule and then apply it to something new. On six, you need to create a graph and then use the given scale factor to graph something new. And on seven, uh, you need to graph this four-sided shape, this quadrilateral. Uh, you need to apply a dilation and it says 
of 2, so that's the scale factor, where the center is the origin. And then you have to label your new one A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So draw your new shape. Good luck.